What's up guys? I'm Max with Odd Jobs. Here today we are in West Bloomfield. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the latest project we just completed. Um, this was a very quick simple project. Uh, tore out a lot of concrete and old wooden dilapidated deck and uh, went ahead and installed some beautiful Unilock pavers. Uh, this project turned out great. We got a little touch of lighting, a little touch of landscape, big touch of pavers and uh, I think it all ties together very well. So come with me while I show you the details of this project. All right, so here I am standing on the main patio area. This customer uh, went ahead and chose the Beacon Hill Granite Smooth. It's been an extremely popular option this year in Oakland County, Michigan. Uh, we've, installed a, we've installed a ton of this stuff and uh, it's really starting to grow on me. I love the blends. I think it looks great. It ties very well with any charcoal or black you might have in the, involved in your space. And you really can't go wrong with the Beacon Hill. It's very economical, it looks great, and it lasts an incredible amount of time. The next thing I wanna talk about here are these beautiful Yukara steps. I'm a very big fan of the Yukara steps, not only because they look great, but they also function very well. Um, it's very easy to build a staircase out of the Yukara. Um, it's always quick and simple, and you can't go wrong. Uh, if you ever get tired of how the stairs look or you want to change the colorway, it's as easy as popping the panels off and popping new ones on. Um, I don't think you could ever go wrong using Yukara in your outdoor living space um, for those reasons I've listed. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty plain and simple two lights per step. Uh, this is also a uh, granite smooth facial panel, followed by the charcoal universal coping stone. Uh, we really enjoy these coping stones because they pair very well with Yukara or any other wall block you decide to choose. Um, they look great, they match your border stone, and they have a nice very smooth finish so it won't be hard on the feet if you like to be outside barefoot. and uh, it. It overall looks great. So here we have a natural wood burning fire pit. This is also built out of Yukara. Um, again, we love Yukara here at Odd Jobs. Uh, we think you cannot go wrong with really any Yukara selection. I'm a big fan of all the colors and all the combinations you could put together with the Yukara. Uh, we wanted to try something new here, so we did a flush coping without an overhang. I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm actually kind of a big fan of this fire pit. Uh, from afar, it looks really nice. Up close, it looks really nice. And uh, one thing I want to stress about this fire pit is if you guys are using any Yukara block or uh, Allen block or uh, any block for that matter, that is not an actual fire rated brick. You need to have a fire ring on the inside. And whether that is a steel or aluminum or whatever the case may be, if you're using a regular wall block or brick to build a fire pit, you have to have one of these fire rings. The biggest reason for that being is all of these bricks are cast concrete, so they have moisture involved in the casting process and that moisture is not necessarily immediately released once the block is cured um, so when you put a block next to fire all that moisture content inside the block is going to want to expand naturally which will lead to these bricks popping or exploding um, same thing with any rock uh, if you don't believe me go ahead start a fire outside your home and put a brick inside I'd say within an hour, hour and a half, the brick will explode. And that can tend to be extremely dangerous if you have kids out here or if you like to sit close to the fire. The last thing you wanna do is be sitting, chilling, having a beer, and then you have a brick explode in your face. So can't stress that enough. Whenever you guys are building block fire pits, you need to have a fire in. All right guys, so a little bit of background about this project. Uh, the homeowner is actually from California. So they just recently moved to Michigan and their first thought when they got their new home was, how do I make my outdoors somewhat livable? 
kind of like what she's used to in California. So originally there's a deck like Max talked about and we posted a video previously of us demoing that deck, but uh, she actually looked into options like Trex and Trex ended up being probably double the cost that we were for pavers. In addition to the fact that there's some downsides about Trex that you wouldn't get with pavers such as the longevity and then in my opinion just the aesthetics and Trex gets super hot um, but neither here nor there this project probably it, she contacted us in around uh, August probably sometime around August and uh, found us through YouTube so that's why we keep making a lot of these videos and essentially felt that we were a great contractor we could pull it off we didn't do a design here because it was pretty straightforward what it was gonna look like. We just took up the same footprint that the deck did. So with that being said, this is how the project started. You guys see how it looks and uh, it, it's a really nice project. I like the lights a lot. I love the walkway and uh, always a big fan of the Beacon Hill Smooth. So sweet project and I'll let Max keep talking about the rest. All right guys, so the last thing I wanna talk about before we take you out front is uh, these nice little landscape beds that we created. Uh, like I said before, this was all concrete. It was junk. It was all sinking, settling, cracked, ugly, and unsafe. So we went ahead and created some beds. Uh, we installed some mums because she's a big fall person and uh, these bloom in the fall, so it's perfect timing. Uh, let's put some more mums over here, super low maintenance, come back every year. Uh, we just wanted to add a little touch of color, greenery, vegetation back here because like I said before, it was all concrete. Now she has a little bit of pavers, a little bit of fire, a little bit of color, and she can do whatever she wants with these moving forward so she could customize them to her liking and plant virtually whatever she wanted. Uh, we ended up taking out a lot of soil that was underneath the concrete and replacing it with topsoil. So she has a good solid foot of topsoil to work with. So anything she decides to plant back here will be able to thrive. All right guys, so the last part of the project we're gonna talk about here is this front walkway. Again, she had some old, broken, dilapidated concrete. We went ahead and replaced that with some beautiful Beacon Hill Grand Smooth, followed by a charcoal Highland Premier Border. Uh, you cannot go wrong with this combination. It looks great in every aspect, no matter the application. Uh, we also went ahead and planted some low maintenance boxwoods, uh, just to add a touch of green kind of soften up the harshness between the walkway and the house, uh, kind of give it a softer feel. Uh, this walkway is actually pretty long, as you can see, uh, so it took a lot more border brick than we originally thought, but that's okay because uh, we got done anyway. Uh, I'm a big fan of walkways, especially walkways for the front of your home, because if they're done right, they can really make your space look so much better. Uh, Having a nice smooth field of pavers, you know, it you can't get better than that. You're not gonna get that look with concrete. You're not gonna get that look with a Trex deck. Uh, you're not gonna get that look with anything besides beautiful, beautiful Unilock pavers. And uh, so yeah, this project was pretty fun. We really enjoyed it. The customer is great to work with. Uh, her neighborhood was very quiet, uh, so we didn't have any issues of neighbors having problems with our machines being too loud and things like that. So uh, the project was pretty smooth, uh, very good. And we enjoyed doing it a lot. So if you are in Oakland County looking to get something installed at your home, whether it be a front walkway or a back patio, give us a call today at 
9175. We look forward to working with you. Thanks.